Hi, my name is Shanoa DeFries. I work for Fresno Mosquito and Vector Control District, and I am the biologist there. We do a lot of yard inspections of people's properties, and there we look for any type of standing water, small or large. It could be a unkept pool, or it could be a bottle cap of water. So the life cycle of a mosquito starts with an egg. Those eggs hatch out into larvae, and those are within the water. After the larvae, the next step would be a pupa. From there, the adults emerge from the pupa out into the open air, just flying around. In the Central Valley, we're really um, concerned about certain mosquito vectors and their diseases, um, such as West Nile virus or St. Louis encephalitis, Zika, dengue, chikungunya, and yellow fever. We do a biological control, which could be mosquito fish or using certain products that are bacteria based. We could do physical control, which is simply removing water, dumping water, any standing water that's around. There's also, of course, chemical controls. Uh, those are really great for also targeting larvae as well as adult mosquitoes. There's cultural control, which is actually the hardest. Um, that is trying to engage people to change their habits, such as not letting your plants collect a lot of water. Um, so that's pretty important as well. So an example of, of simple dumping, dumping of water would be this bucket. There's water in it. Um, if I were to let this bucket sit out for more than a week, that would be enough time for a mosquito to complete its whole life cycle into an adult and then you're gonna get bit. So even something simple like this, all you do is dump it out.